Conquering Homophone Havoc. Perfect your writing with precision. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we'll be exploring a topic that can be quite tricky, even for experienced writers. Homophones in writing. Understanding and identifying homophones is an essential skill for mastering English, and we're here to ensure you gain the confidence to write without any homophone hiccups. Before we delve into strategies for identifying and correcting errors, let's first remind ourselves of what homophones are. Homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings and can have different spellings. These are words like to, to, and, to, or there, there, and there. Homophones can cause a lot of confusion in writing if used incorrectly, so let's move on to how we can tackle this. Now, how can you spot errors related to homophones in your writing? Here are a few techniques. 1. Proofreading. Reading your text carefully after writing can help you spot errors that might have been missed initially. Remember, spell check won't catch homophone errors because the words are spelled correctly, but used incorrectly. 2. Understand the meaning of each homophone. If you know the meaning of each word in a set of homophones, you'll be less likely to use it incorrectly. For example, your is a possessive adjective, whereas your is a contraction of you are. 3. Read aloud. Sometimes, reading your text aloud can help you identify errors because it forces you to slow down and consider each word. Once you've identified a homophone error, how do you correct it? Here are some useful methods. 1. Substitute the word. Once you've found an error, substitute the incorrect word with the correct homophone. 2. Use context clues. The context of a sentence can often tell you which homophone to use. For instance, if you wrote, I hope you're okay, your doesn't fit the context. It should be, your, a contraction of, you are. 3. Check with resources. If you're unsure about which word to use, don't hesitate to use dictionaries or English learning websites. They can provide examples that will help you understand how to use homophones correctly. And that's it for today's session on identifying and correcting homophone errors in your writing. Remember, the key is to understand each homophone and its correct usage context. Don't rush. Take your time to proofread and cross-check with reliable resources when needed. Keep practicing and you'll see improvement over time. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, happy writing and keep learning.